Thank you for being here and welcome to thousands of new subscribers just over the last few days. Thank you for being part of this weather community. All right, stronger tropical waves on the way, one in particular, and it could develop into a tropical storm. That is a possibility as we uh, get into later in the upcoming week. We have one strong tropical wave that is moving in. Uh, Barbados, St. Lucia, Dominica, Guadalupe, I'll zoom down with some rain and storms. And then these two tropical waves, models are kind of split on which one will try to develop, uh, but these are both, uh, we need to watch both of these. As as they move our way in the Caribbean, not only could they become tropical storms, but even if they don't, they are going to be stronger, and that means some su uh, substantial rain that will head our way. So things are going to get more active. Now, the tropical wave we're watching, I'm not sure which one of the two will develop, uh, but uh, the models are hinting at some development. So as these areas approach, right now it's just really the European model that's showing a tropical depression or maybe a tropical storm, although the American model yesterday was showing a strong tropical storm uh, near the uh, Caribbean. So the models go back and forth, and that's why I look at the models, but then I look at what's going on in the environment, and that's what I want to show you and show you the possibility of development, some of the things that uh, uh, may make this area become a tropical storm and some of the things that may play into our favor and make it not to become a tropical storm, if, if that makes sense. All right, let's, let's go forward together. Watching some heavy areas of rain, I mentioned near Barbados, about to move uh, into St. Lucia, uh, Dominica, Guadalupe, Martinique with some of the rain and storms. We've been seeing some in Belize, parts of Honduras. I've been watching some of our islands, uh, Providencia, San Andres, for some of that rain that's been nearby. Spotty showers and storms, Jacmel. We've had a couple from overnight. So several areas of rain, Nicaragua as well. And then keeping an eye on the Houston area, I mentioned yesterday, it wouldn't take much to give us some flooding. We had that in Houston. I'll zoom down in a moment. Some additional rain is possible. Watching Mexico and the Yucatan Peninsula of Mexico for some of that additional rain. But Belize, it is going to be more active, even parts of Guatemala and El Salvador. So thank you for your patience in this video. This time of year, there is just so much to cover, and I do not want to leave anyone out. All right, I want to swing to the rain totals uh, quickly because we uh, that's important, obviously, with the potential of flooding. Anywhere from St. Lucia, Barbados, uh, parts of St. Vincent, the Grenadines, but in this sector here with that new tropical uh, disturbance sliding by, over 50 millimeters of rain or two inches of rain will be a possibility. Meanwhile, in Belize, anywhere from Punta Gorda back through Belize City, we'll get some higher totals four to five inches of rain over 100 millimeters of rain the next few days a lot of that will be today in spots some of us not a lot but others getting dumped on heads up for my friends in Belize, I've got us covered. Watching out for some of the rain that we'll see in the potential of flooding. And if you could leave in your comments uh, your location and what you got going on, no matter where you are or what the weather is as we continue to build this uh, community, I'll be going through those comments throughout the day. And while we had already that heavy rain in parts of Houston yesterday, some additional totals possible that may be an inch or two uh, kind of splitting Houston and Beaumont. We could get some additional rain. There is some rain around already, so still some additional additional flooding possible as we get toward uh, the greater Houston area. So watching that. Now, let's get into the possibility of development. Now, this map sometimes looks a little bit scary, but I want to show it to you uh, and explain it in just a second. Let's go out in time here. This would be all the way into next week. So by next week, what this map does, anytime you get these squiggly lines coming, coming at us, obviously that, that looks concerning, but this doesn't tell us exactly what it is. What I use this map is to see where something may go, right? So it looks like this stronger tropical wave will work its way toward the Caribbean, maybe a little bit more so the north northeastern Caribbean. I'll show you why in just a second. In these L's in here, that's just telling me we have that tropical disturbance. It's not saying it's a hurricane or a tropical storm, but we have a strong tropical disturbance that will be working our way, and the models are picking up on this. This is uh, the European model by the time we get into the upcoming weekend. And you can see how I use this map, just kind of highlight some different areas that I really watch for us behind the scenes. I don't want to get too sciencey for us, uh, but I do need to dive into that this uh, time of year. So Here's that uh, uh, European model again, just a different uh, format of this. And what it's showing is in this sector here, we do have the possibility of development, about a 40 to 50% chance of development 
according to the European model. Now, let me zoom down with this, and you can see here we are in the Caribbean, Northeastern Caribbean. Uh, what may happen with this is that we may get some initial development. It may start to develop, maybe into a tropical depression, maybe into a tropical storm, uh, but then down the road, maybe it weakens like we've seen with the last couple tropical waves, because again, it is going to be battling dry air and some dust that will be around. The dust season is June and July, uh, when you get some dust doesn't mean something can't develop, but that's a lot of dry air nearby. That could be a good thing in play into our favor. So it may be a case where we get some development and then maybe it starts to weaken some. But with that said, I monitor so very closely because those water temperatures have warmed and in particular right into the Northeastern Caribbean where this area will eventually be going. So uh, it, while one thing may play in our favor, something else may not. So just know that I'm watching everything. But these tropical waves coming off the coast of Africa are no doubt stronger as we would expect as we go into August and some development is now possible out of these. So let me show you a couple of the models. I'll start with the American model, then show you the European model as we try to fine tune some development. First, we have some of that rain that's moving by parts of the Caribbean. I'll highlight some different areas in just a moment, so hang with me. But it's these tropical waves that I'm watching out here in the Atlantic. I'll be watching it all through the weekend into next week for the possibility of some development. So let's go out in time into the middle of the week this here is by Wednesday, and you see right in through here, this is the spot I'll be watching. All of the models are picking up on this being a strong tropical disturbance. You have a tropical wave, which are a few showers and storms. Tropical disturbance is a little bit more, and that's what this will be. And then you see to the north, this green here, it's not rain. That's actually dust. The models pick up on some of the dust and dry air. So you can see as this moves in, it's going to be battling some of that. This here is by Friday, still watching this area. Yes, at this point, it could be a tropical storm, or according to the American model, just a strong tropical disturbance. Here's a front to the north. And I'm watching that because that'll help steer this area of tropical rain. As this moves closer to Bermuda, it'll help draw this area a little bit more to the north. So for example, it may not move due west uh, into Trinidad, for example. It may be a little bit more to the north. And what I have to watch out for, and this is way down the road, this is by next Saturday. So this is a week out in time. I need to watch the timing of this front. There's another strong tropical wave coming off. But if this front is pretty quick, it'll draw this area to the north, may help some of that rain uh, to miss us, although some of us need to get some rain. Uh, but if this front is a little bit slower, it may allow this to move right into the uh, Caribbean. So uh, watching out for that. But again, the American model does not have this at this point becoming a tropical storm. I like to keep everything in perspective and just show you exactly what I'm seeing. Now we get to the European model. This is the model that's showing a little bit more so. It is common for the models uh, to be different. They're different. It's like different brands of computers, different types of computers. They have some different elements taken to the uh, uh, taken uh, parts of the environment into account in different ways. But here we are in the Caribbean. Let's go out in time here ticking ahead into the middle of the week again. This here would be by the middle and end of the week by the time we get into Thursday. And you see this strong tropical wave here, another back behind it, not showing a ton of development, but it may briefly develop into a tropical uh, depression. There's that tropical wave behind it. And watching the fronts, the, here's Bermuda right here, watching the fronts that are up to the north to see how much this will kind of draw it back toward uh, the north and uh, northwest, I should say, uh, as we uh, go forward. So let's go out and time here even more so. So this here again Thursday and then we'll go out in time here as we work our way into the upcoming weekend. Uh, this is by Friday. See high pressure builds in tempor temporarily to the north. So this would bring a big area of rain for many of our islands, right? Not necessarily a name system. Could become one, maybe not, uh, but it will should bring some of that rain. But does it move into more of our central areas or more of our northern areas? Still to be determined. And then you see here, by the time we get into Saturday, it is showing some sort of circulation a week from now, kind of a broad circulation. Nothing too terribly organized, more tropical waves to watch, but this could bring some additional flooding rain to parts of Puerto Rico, British and U.S. Virgin Islands if this were to stay the same. Now, this is a week out in time, right? So there's go forecasting the weather three days out in time is very difficult. We're looking into the future. It's not easy. Uh, so going six, seven days out in time, I expect some changes. But both models are showing a strong tropical wave, tropical disturbance sliding our way with the possibility of some development. That's just where it stands 
stands now. And as we get closer, I'll be able to fine tune if it will develop and where the heaviest rain and flooding rain will be. Now, looking at some things now, flooding rain, a possibility through parts of Central America. Here's some of the rain that's been working through or moving into St. Lucia. This is going to clip by uh, uh, Puerto Rico by tomorrow. Parts of the DR over toward the British and US, U.S. Virgin Islands. Rain chance a little higher tomorrow. There's some of the rain southern Nicaragua, south through Costa Rica and Panama. So this is just a closer look. I'll move up to the north in just a second. And then by the time we get into Monday, a couple shots of rain moving in for some of us on Monday. Here's that moisture again building back through Nicaragua and Honduras. There's some rain on Monday. Little uptick in some of the rain back through uh, Trinidad and North Trinidad and Tobago and northeastern uh, Venezuela. In spotty showers and storms, Jamaica, Cuba, Haiti, the Dominican Republic as a little tropical wave moves by on Monday. We'll see the rain chance that will get a bit higher. Now we swing to the north and I like to cover all of these uh, areas because we know uh, sometimes we can even get some tropical weather that uh, really impacts some areas to the uh, north. But watching out for one area leaving uh, Newfoundland, another area, Ontario, Quebec, uh, the Houston and Beaumont area. I mentioned that flooding earlier. I zoomed down into that. But scattered storms possible. Mid-Atlantic, New England. By tomorrow, see more of that rain over toward uh, parts of Cape Cod. Watching another little batch moving into New Brunswick. And then some of that rain, Great Lakes. This little shot here could bring some severe weather as we work our way. Even some nighttime severe weather uh, over toward parts of Minnesota, Wisconsin, Michigan the next uh, few days. Then by Monday, some of that rain moves uh, back through uh, parts of uh, Quebec, uh, uh, Newfoundland uh, again. And watching this shot of storms in here, once again, the Dakotas and then diving down late Monday, Monday night, there could be an isolated tornado risk. Monitoring some of the flooding parts of uh, Mexico and even New Mexico, we've had some additional flooding the last few days. So you can see some of the rain totals that are going to be quite substantial in some spots that we'll continue to uh, monitor kind of around the horn with some of those uh, storms that will be uh, with us. Watching out for some scattered areas of rain. Not as much. Bahamas, we've been a little drier, right? Uh, but I'll, I'll monitor down the road these tropical disturbances that will be sliding toward the Eastern Caribbean. We'll see if it brings us eventually any additional rain as we go out in time together. So got us covered. I'll be watching that. But here are those scattered areas of rain. Jamaica, especially Eastern Cuba, Haiti, the DR, Puerto Rico. It is going to be picking up. Showed you with that tropical wave moving in that's moving by St. Lucia now. That will increase our chance of rain. So scattered areas of rain, which means not all of us, but if we get some, a quick two to three inches of rain or 50 to 75 millimeters of of rain will be possible in the sector, even over toward uh, St. Croix, not quite as much in Tortola hit or miss, Anguilla, Antigua, and Barbuda, St. Kitts and Nevis, Guadalupe, Dominica, watching out for some scattered areas of rain, may get some totals over 50 millimeters of rain as this moisture moves back, watching that Barbados, uh, St. Lucia, and then keeping an eye on Trinidad and Guyana, a little bit uh, uh, drier as we get back towards Suriname, and here are some of the uh, bigger areas of rain that I've been watching. I zoomed down earlier into Belize, but parts of Honduras and Nicaragua, uh, Nicaragua eastern side, will get some totals over 100 millimeters of of rain. So some flooding will be a possibility and keeping an eye on that spot near the uh, uh, Houston area for some additional rain as we go throughout the day. The seas are going to stay on the choppy side at times. That's common because we get these tropical waves moving by. So a little bit of a bump in the seas around uh, Cuba, Haiti, and uh, Jamaica uh, down through uh, Panama. You see it here. But then we'll see things flaring up again with some new tropical waves moving in as we work our way into Monday. Keep an eye on those Atlantic passageways. They will be more on the L elevated side. So a couple scattered showers and storms today in Jamaica for us, but on Monday our rain chance, storm chance bumps up to about 50%. So about half and half, half stay dry, half of us will get some showers and storms. Cayman Islands 30% chance tomorrow into Monday, but as I mentioned on Monday in Trinidad and Tobago, a better chance of rain sliding in. A little bit more in Trinidad, not quite as much in Tobago, but that better chance of rain by the time uh, we get into uh, Monday Barbados. Some of this has already panned out from overnight, that higher chance of rain moving by St. Lucia. We have a 70% chance today. I'll monitor the uh, flood threat. I'll watch your comments as we go throughout the day. Grenada, 50% chance today, and a 50% chance today, St. Vincent and the Grenadines. But there's that 70% chance today in Martinique and a 70% chance in Dominica. So the rain chance is higher for today, even a 60% chance in Guadalupe. Rain chance, 
30% Isolated Antigua Barbuda, 40% chance St. Kitts and Nevis and Montserrat, and just a 20% chance today in Guilla and St. Bart's, about a 30% chance for tomorrow. St. Martin, Saban, and Stacia, rain chance by Monday will be up slightly, a 40% chance. And you see in Puerto Rico, tomorrow it's going to be more active. So we're going to watch out for that chance of some scattered storms. A couple tomorrow in Puerto Rico could be quite strong. And even around the U.S. and British Virgin Islands, especially southern islands, better chance of getting some of the rain by tomorrow. 20 to 30 percent chance. That's it in the Bahamas. Mainly dry as we get back through the uh, Turks and Caicos. Scattered storms tomorrow and Monday, a 50 percent chance in the Dominican Republic. Isolated in Haiti, we're looking at a 30 percent chance. Again, we had a couple last night over toward uh, near Boston. Some blue uh, back toward a Jock Mel. Belize, though, our rain chance is high today. I mentioned that prospect of flooding and still scattered areas of rain will continue tomorrow. And again on Monday, Aruba, our rain chance about 30%. And a 30 to 40% chance, Curacao over toward Bonaire. Rain chance 60% in Guyana and about a 40 to 50% chance of some scattered areas of rain back through Suriname. Rain chance 30% today in Cuba. 40% chance tomorrow. Some of the storms will favor eastern sections of Cuba. Costa Rica, rain chance on the higher side. Same thing in Panama, an 80% chance for today. And holding on to that 60% chance the next several days in Nicaragua, Honduras, it's going to build even further. 70% chance, especially northern and eastern sections the next few days. Guatemala and El Salvador, 60 to 70% chance. We do that again right across Mexico City in scattered areas of rain. Merida and Campeche back through uh, Cancun and uh, Cozumel. Northern Colombia, rain chance 50% elevated today as we work our way back through northern Venezuela. Possibility of flooding. Bermuda mainly dry. We'll keep an eye on that next front that will eventually dive down late Sunday into Monday. So we have three tropical waves out there tracking the areas of flooding. The third tropical wave, the one coming off the coast of Africa, uh, may be the one that develops a little bit more. But either way, even if it doesn't get a name, uh, and I'll be monitoring closely for development, that flood potential is going to get higher uh, if the this tropical disturbance moves our way because it looks like it is going to be stronger. The next name on the list, once we get a, another name storm out there, will be Dexter. Thank you for sharing this information. I'll be going through your comments. I'll start to do that right about now. Have a good rest of your day.